Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Street Tips here. I've got a 5,000 gram scale here. Yesterday I said that there was about 5 pounds of silver in here and I was way off. If you look here, uh, it goes over 5,000. So there's probably, 5,000 grams is uh, about, what, 10.2 pounds, something like that. So I've probably got in excess of 10 pounds of silver in here, not 5. It's been all dried off now, so uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and set that cell back up and uh, start refining some silver. If you remember in the last video, I uh, dissolved some silver to make some fresh electrolyte. It's back here in this beaker right here. Notice it's clear and colorless. That's what we like to see for fresh electrolyte. There's probably about uh, 200 grams of pure silver dissolved in this liquid. And we're gonna use this to augment the used electrolyte from the first refining. We've got most of the silver pulled through now. If you look here, this is the used electrolyte from the first refining. I'm gonna pour that through the filter now add it right on in there's copper in this and a little bit of copper hurts nothing in fact one of the professional refiners that i learned from gold silver pro on the gold refining forum claims that a little bit of copper in the electrolyte promotes crystal growth you grow fatter hunkier crystals with a little copper in your electrolyte We've got the electrolyte pulled through the filter now. What I'm going to do is uh, take it over here. And we're going to add it to the silver cell. This is a clean bowl. I've got the filter set back up. Here's our uh, silver crystal that was discolored that we're going to run back through the cell. I'm going to pour the electrolyte off of here into our filter, recapture that. I'll pour in a little bit of distilled water, and rinse this just a little bit. And there's no reason to rinse this off real good or or dry it out or anything like I said I was going to do because we're going to be running it right back through the cell. So we'll just uh, leave it wet. Let's remove the filter here and I'll carry this over and we'll put this in the silver cell. Now we're going to install the cover. Got an anode filter set up here. It's just a Tupperware container with the lid cut open to use as a retainer to keep the uh, Dacron filter bag down in there. Here is the uh, filter bag that I'm using. I double that up and I install that inside of here and use this as my filter. Charge the filter here with some of this uh, crystal that I grew in the last batch that was discolored. The crystals were uh, oddly shaped. They were uh, real thin, real fine needle-like crystals. And it did not look like high purity silver. I went ahead and rebuilt the wiring harness for the silver cell. Well, I shouldn't say I rebuilt it. I uh, cleaned all the 
connections up. They were dirty. Some of the teeth were dissolved off from being in a nitric environment. So I got that all taken care of. So now let's take our anode basket here. And we're gonna drop it down into the electrolyte. I've got a stirring rod, glass stirring rod. I'm gonna stir the electrolyte up and make sure we got a nice uh, even mix in here. And I stir this cell every day when I come out to check on it. Just leave the glass rod right in there and cover it up with a piece of paper. Here's my anode bar. If you notice, there's some silver powder on it uh, where I tried the experiment of adding the powder straight into the uh, anode filter. It didn't work well. You got to melt it up into some kind of shot that's got some form to it. So I'm going to clean all that off there. I'm going to clean the top of the filter or the uh, anode bar off so we got a good contact up here at the connecting point of the electrode bar here. Now let's put our electrode bar on top of our silver. Connect the clip. I put a new clip on here. The teeth were all eaten off of this thing. Let's energize the power supply. That looks pretty good. 1.6 amps almost. 3.5 volts. So we should have a nice functional silver cell now. And I'll run that pure silver crystal back through a second time. Should come out with some very high purity silver. I wanted to get some readings on the cell now. And after cleaning all the connections up, like everybody recommended that I do, and I didn't do it, it was like uh, 11 years worth of experience working against me. I got 3.3, almost 3.4 volts right at the cell now after cleaning all the connections up. And I'm running the uh, power supply up here at 3.7 volts, which is well within spec. So uh, it, it was a problem with the, the cables, like everybody said. And uh, what I'll do is when I make my second silver cell coming up here, I'll rebuild a brand new harness for this one. And I'll make a brand new harness for the new silver cell. Videos coming up very soon for a second silver cell. I soldered that new clip onto that piece of wire. And if you look here, here's the old one. All the teeth are gone off of it and had a bunch of green corrosion on it. Here's a new one right next to it. That's what it's supposed to look like. So there definitely was a problem with the harness that I was using for the silver cell. Like I said, in my mind, I'm like, it's always worked. It's worked fine. That's not the problem. But in fact, I admit that it definitely was the problem. This is the book called Refining Precious Metal Wastes by C.M. Hoke. I bought this at Gershwin.com, a jeweler supply place, but don't try to go there and buy one because they've sold out. Uh, here we have an illustration. This is on page 255 of the two types of silver cells. The one I use is called the thumb arrangement. The anode sits on top and the cathode rests on the bottom of the cell. But what I've done is uh, use the entire stainless steel bowl as the cathode. So this is the arrangement I use right here. It's called the thumb arrangement. The other arrangement is called the Mobius or vertical cell where uh, they're horizontally opposed actually uh, the anode is uh, hung in the cell on this side the cathode is opposed to it on the other side of the cell and the electrolyte in both of these is made out of silver nitrate but down here if you look it says that for economical operation the composition of the anode the impure silver that goes in the top in the anode basket must be carefully adjusted 
the silver being kept as high as possible. In other words, the purity of the anode should be fairly pure to begin with. You can't use highly impure silver in the uh, anode. It'll foul the electrolyte and the silver uh, won't come out right. Some of the uh, contamination will begin to plate out with the pure silver crystal after the contamination gets uh, excessive in the electrolyte. On the next page, page 256, up here it says uh, the silver deposits out on the cathode. Some impurities have gone into solution in the electrolyte, mostly copper, but palladium will too if you've got the nitrate content in the electrolyte high. Any palladium that's in the impure silver will tend to dissolve and go into the electrolyte. You can tell when that happens, when the electrolyte turns green. It'll normally be blue from the copper. Uh, palladium in solution is yellow. Blue and yellow make green, so if your electrolyte is turning green, there's a high probability that you're going to have palladium in your electrolyte. All right, let me pull this uh, cover off here so you can see how much growth we have in there. That's about uh, one and a half hours worth of operation. You can see the pure silver crystal starting to grow on the inside of the stainless steel bowl. All right, that'll do it for this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, I did. I learned about the uh, cables out there being around that electrolyte. They're going to get corroded, so i got to keep a close eye on those things. I've operated the cell for 11 years using that complete rig right there. and never changed it out. And so now the corrosion kept coming and added up, and it created some impedance. And that is what was causing problems with my silver cell. So I think I got that straightened out now. And we'll have a, a new video coming up where we make one of those silver cells from scratch. So that'll be coming up very soon. Thank you for watching.